Hi guys, Jeff here from TAP. Just an interesting card just coming to the workshop, so I just wanted to share it with you uh, this morning. The car's been brought to us by, by the roadside assistants who have just jump-started the vehicle. Uh, it's had some issues for the last few days. Uh, he's been told by a number of people that needed a new alternator. So this is where we are testing needs to make sure we're doing it in a logical way to make sure that we're finding the actual problem rather than just rushing in on it. So just want to show you some basic voltage testing that I would normally do with a vehicle that's come in and we can highlight where the actual problem is. So we're just going to use our digital moulding meter first up. The important thing about testing voltages is that you know exactly where you're measuring it and that's how, in this case really highlights the importance of that. We've got to measure from post to post initially. So if we go on this particular regard, the centre of the negative post to the centre of the positive post, we can see right from the centre to the centre of the post, we can see the voltage on the metre, 12.74 volts. So it's pretty low, okay, we're not quite right there. So if we now then change our testing and we say test uh, from our post here, and we're going to use the negative, we're going to go straight to the engine block, you can see that now we've got our voltage of 14.3. So a big difference to what we were just having from, seven, from post to post. Again, post to post, 12.7. Post to block, 14.3. If we go post, centre post here, to, to chassis, we go on to the chassis one here, we got 14.3 again. So we've got the same voltage from the positive centre to our block, to our chassis. But if we go back to post to post, we've only got 12.7 here. So we've got to find where this voltage drop is. If we now go from the negative side here, negative centre, and we go to the block, we're now showing our voltage drop. So we've got a voltage drop of 1.5 volts between the centre of the negative post to the block. If we then go to chassis, again, we're showing 1.5 volt voltage drop. So the voltage drop's the same, to both the block and the chassis. So we haven't got a problem between our block and the chassis. It's a problem somewhere else. If we now go from our centre of the post to our terminal, we can now see on the negative side, we've got 1.6 volts, literally 1.5 volt voltage drop across from our centre of the post to our actual battery terminal. So we can now highlight exactly where this voltage drop is. It is exactly right here on the negative battery terminal. So from the post to here, we can see that we've got that 1.5 voltage drop. We can now know that our voltage drop here is directly around that negative battery terminal. We've checked all our other points. Our chassis and our block earths are good. Negative battery terminal, no voltage drop there. We've got a voltage drop in that negative battery terminal. So it's using good process in test testing, understanding where you're testing and what you're testing. In this particular case, our alt mode is fine. We've got a bad voltage drop on the negative battery terminal to the post. So a quick little easy fix, but making sure when you use your voltmeters, know where you're testing. Don't just go you know, bang bang and you think you know where the problem is. It may not be there. Check those earths, it's critical on the later model cars that we don't have any voltage drops, especially in the main battery area. Hope that helps you out for a car next time, but this one here is a quick and easy fix. See you next time.